Hi everyone, this is Adam Laughlin at Vista Peak Exploratory in Aurora, Colorado. We're going to go check out the art studio. So, let me open the door. Oh, check out the silly sign on the top. All right. So they come in, a little narrow passageway. We got some posters saying, I'm on fire in art, with art in other languages, jobs of an artist. There's Dale Zumstro's Eight Studio Habits of Mind, connected to the Colorado Art Standards. Fabulous. Rules and expectations. Our school, we do something called slant, means sit up, listen, ask and answer questions, nod and track the speaker. So Mona Lisa is definitely slant in the speaker. Um, cruise around here. Here's the art patio, where we're up on the second floor. You can kind of see, there's Kansas. Uh, <laughs> Out here we do spray painting and anything that's kind of messy. It also gets a real nice little snow drift in the winter, so it's only for spring and fall. Um, over here in this corner is the drawing center. Not too exciting right now. There's a thing on perspective and stuff. Just because it's kind of the beginning of the semester, there's not much to see. Over here is collage again. Most of the shelves are very empty because it is the beginning of the center. I have ten tables set up around the classroom. Each table has a blue tote. And in the blue tote, there's scissors and glue and pencils and erasers. And these glue bottles are pretty awesome with the little paintbrush inside. I find kids use way less and there's less spillage and stuff. Um, this is a boring list. This is something that one of my student teachers actually helped me develop where in the choice-based curriculum, you see a lot of kids doing the same stuff over and over. So... We kind of outlaw these sort of things, but the kids break the rules all the time anyway. And it's kind of cool, because then they get to break the rules. So, let me do a scan around the room just so you can kind of see what the classroom looks like. And then we'll go into details. There's my desk. And there's a carpet right here. Here, let me step back to the end door so you can kind of see everything in perspective. Yeah, carpet, tables, 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 tables. Cool. Um, on the board... What centers are open? More informative posters. There's Van Gogh knows ears are important. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, little space invaders and mustaches are always popular. More silly posters. I have did an overall, I mean, we're supposed to post uh, objectives every day, and so these are kind of like overall objectives that I just have going on every day. And then for each class, we have these different things. And you can see that K12 doesn't have any um, expectations because I've only seen them for one day. It's, we got a weird schedule and it's the beginning of the semester. So it was just kind of like getting them into the classroom. So I didn't even write anything. I, I sh I'm sure if an administrator came, they'd be unhappy with me. Um, clean up jobs according to where they sit on the carpet because the kids kind of file in and sit on the carpet like they're uh, in line order. Um, over here is where usually paper is for kids to pick up. My computer and my opaque projector. Up here is a smart overhead whiteboard. It's kind of like a smart board, but not as nice. Blocks for the younger kids. Storage for artwork. There's more standard stuff. Uh, elements and principles. What to do when you make mistakes. That's a big initiative on me. Scampering. Another thing with mistakes. Skinned Tickle Me Elmo's. Uh, Olivia Golde's um, postmodern art principles. Pretty cool stuff. You should check it out if you don't know about that. Uh, over here, this is my iPod cart. There's about 20 iPods in there, iPod touches for kids to photograph artwork and do research and stuff. Um, every day I show kids a work of art from a different country of contemporary art. And I'm slowly building up this map, although this map's way behind. I need to put up about 10 more photos at this point. It's part of the equity initiative at my school. So I'm trying to show kids artists of different cultures and different colors. Uh, goose paper, good on one side with an E at the end. Just, you know, you know, it has printouts on one side, but the other side's blank and ready to rock. Uh, fiber center, kind of a mess because it hasn't opened yet. This was a sculpture that some kid played soccer in the hallway and broke, so I'm having them fix. Uh, we had a birthday party here this afternoon, so there's an empty box from Cupcakes. Here's our sculpture, oh, here's the fibers menu. And these are actual, like, 
things. So that's kind of cool for kids to actually see. And then an example of like how you can draw with yarn. Hot glue guns in the sculpture center. Lots of sculpture supplies, paper tubes, scraps, all sorts of craziness. Um, I go to Raft and once in a while you can find these guys. So I, I buy them every time I can. And this is the magic box, which the little kids are always mystified by. Basically, it's just my size requirement for the sculpture center. Because you see my room's big and beautiful, but there's not much good storage space for 3D. So I have this little area down here. But if the kids are making huge stuff, we just run out of room too quickly. So I make sure everyone's sculpture has to fit inside that box. There's the menu for um, Sculpture Center. Some little sculpture examples from different times and different places. Uh, here's my slab roller, which I also use for cart cardboard sculpture, uh, cardboard storage for sculpture. Some more posters, a bison head, not real stuffed. The kids still get scared by it. Um, over here, clay center. Some of the drawers having different things. There's where the glazes and stuff. Um, this is where these boxes they store their sketchbooks. I also have like little random confiscated toys and all sorts of random stuff. This big poster up here we made my first year here. It says we're on fire with art. Um, paint. Usually I have the paint pulled out front, but I had a uh, student with autism in here the other day that was. Um, tearing through the stuff, so I had to kind of push it back so he couldn't reach it. Other paint things. I made this. I'm so proud. I, no tools or anything. Just Home Depot and big screws. Uh, nicer brushes and, you know, different brush storage and other paints and stuff. Three sinks. It's lovely. Two, three. And then back here in this kind of dark room, hopefully the light will flip on once I step inside. I have seven computers that are all online, two of which can print. Um, and I got a potter's wheel. I actually have four potter's wheel, but I put three back in storage just because I this area was kind of designed for the pottery wheels. You can see the drain on the floor, but I wanted to have the technology instead. I thought that was more useful for a K-8 classroom, especially for how little I see the kids. Um, also, here's a paper cutter. Basically, kids don't go back in this corner without me. Um, some more storage. This is for like my old middle schoolers to store their sculptures. My big old dry rack. And then back here is like the little, let me do another sweep of the classroom so you can see it from this side. See the, um, the kids love these table labels. They're styrolated dodecahedrons. There's an, uh, a website where you can print out like forms to build geometric forms. And so I printed them out poster size, and that's how they were able to get so big. And I just colored them with crayons, and the kids love them. They always want to know how to make them and stuff. Um, yeah. So over here is the exit. I can let you take a peek in my messy, messy storeroom. I've got a pug mill and the kiln and shelves and shelves of stuff. <laughs> um... Yeah, and then you exit out, you get to see another one of my tessellation totem poles. And then you see we have this little display window here looking out to the computers. And right now I just have art supplies in it because it's the beginning of the semester, but once we get some more 3D stuff going, we'll be doing that. And I can also use, if you look down this hallway, that's the library right there. And this window, see if I can do that, that window right there I can use for some artwork. And you can see there's a few little sculptures in there and stuff. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Look, there's another totem pole. I have them all over the room, all over the school. I Oh, and these are cool. Let me tell you about these really quick. So, uh, Target used to put these little rubber rings. They're kind of like the same things as like the Livestrong rings. And um, we got a whole bunch of them and I got a group of kids to just start tying them together with wire and made these kind of cool amoebas and stuff. And it's kind of cool because, like, this is science classroom, science, middle school science, middle school science. So it's kind of, like, fitting and stuff. Pretty cool stuff. I need, the walls are too blank, though. I need to get more stuff. But they won't let me hang anything here. It's very sad. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my room and me rambling. See you later.